Hello, everybody. This is Stacey Chalemi from The Advisor. And today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest. She is part of our podcast community. She has her own podcast on our channel. So check her out. It's Dr. Olga Zilberstein. She is really great with, um, she works with anti-aging and she helps with all different types of procedures that she's going to talk about. And today she really wants to focus on what can we do to prevent aging? And she has a lot of different great suggestions and she's going to talk about them today because everybody wants to stay young. We want to look young. We want to feel young. But, you know, the question is, how do we do it? And today, uh, Dr. Olga is here today to explain actually how we can stay young. So I'm very excited about this episode. Tell us a little about yourself and, and tell us a little about how we can stay young and what we can do to prevent that anti, you know, that aging from creeping up on us because nobody wants to get old. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me um, on your podcast. I'm very excited to share my experience. Um, I am a physician. I'm practicing medicine for the last 24 years. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> and I'm practicing aesthetic medicine for the last 17 years. What is aesthetic medicine? It's pretty much helping people to look young. Yeah. Um, but lately I got into anti-aging medicine as well. So it's not just look young outside, but it's also looking, uh, being young from inside, right. inside out. Um, so what I offer mostly, that's how I started. I, I started offering non-surgical procedures um, to improve your appearance, to um, really help uh, women and men to get over their insecurities and their appearance mm -hmm. and look younger. Um, we do non-surgical procedures. Um, it's mostly injectables, uh, Botox and fillers. This is how we started. Right mm -hmm. now, uh, the tendency is to um, improve your skin from within to rejuvenate the skin rather than just feeling the, the face and creating anything unnatural. Me, myself, I always been against anything unnatural. I always, my motto from very beginning, um, organizing, creating my company 17 years ago, my motto is you only better meaning um i always stay behind my very very natural results um mm. not creating anything anything unnatural um really defeats the purpose for me so even if people come and they already um let's say injected and they already look overdone so i would rather refuse um, to treat them, to do something uh, that makes them look more natural um, rather than, um, you know, doing any procedures. I tell them, I'd rather dissolve your fillers, <laughs> whatever you already have, than adding anything else and creating anything unnatural. So um, the procedures range from um, Botox, and fillers, but like I said, right now we do more collagen stimulating therapies. Um, it's with biostimulators, with exosomes. So improving your skin from within. It's not just putting a band aid, like creating some I don't know cheek from with hyaluronic acid, but really uh, treating the skin. Some of the biostimulators they create even the bone tissue, um, such as sculpture, let's say, um, because we do have some bone loss as we age. Yes. And uh, understanding how we age, how, what is the process, how we lose collagen, how the face moves, like everything moves down and descends down with gravity. Um, so the tissue moves down. So understanding deep... Um, etiology deep deep mechanism how we age and what happens really very yeah. very very helpful so we also use suspension threads we lift tissue up 
not just feeling, like I said, the uh, feeling spaces and lines, but it's really rejuvenating the so the whole skin from within and um, improving how we look. And it's ultimately making people more confident in their skin yes. and happier. Right. Yeah. Now, you have, like, you, you mentioned a couple of different, like, top, um, different methods like you talked about the collagen um can you can you go over that a little bit in depth so because a lot of times people don't realize there's so many different procedures and some of them are, are more natural like you said and you know you're not it's, it's not like they're walking in and they're overdone because they have too much botox from another doctor you know um you know what are some of the the services and and what exactly are they because i i think sometimes people hear the services like and they know they know the name but they don't know what it actually is and what it, what it in, entails so we we really uh create a plan uh for the for our patients mm -hmm. um, starting with good nutrition and exercise plan and uh, supplement plan um mm -hmm. as well as uh skincare it's a foundation of everything because right. if we think about just the skin, let's say, so many factors can be just prevented. Yes. Um, number one is sun. So sun destroys collagen. We know that we lose collagen um, 1% every year from age 25. Right. And it's really speeds out after perimenopause, menopause. So um, just simple preventative measures like sunscreen, Yes. Uh, makes a huge difference. Um, we also have, as a, as a skincare, we also have um, amazing uh, skincare, which um, stimulates, helps stimulate collagen production. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really just your work. Um, and and uh, new generation is very smart, smart smarter than us. <laughs> 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 so, uh, they listen to research, real research and science, and they do protect their skin from sun. Um, they actually eat healthier. They try to eat healthier and exercise. And um, I think the next generation is going to be better and younger looking people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the smarter people of, uh, I don't know, Generation X, what, what do we call them? If you, if you listen up, if you listen to the research, and I actually see a, a, a great difference just from those preventative measures. I have, in my practice, I have two sisters. And when they came together, it was so interesting. I actually, I have a very good eye. I can see the age, but yeah. I, the sister who was in in real uh, he's she's actually was uh younger but she looked much older because she was exposing herself to the sun she was sun worshiper and she was a smoker this is one more factor and yeah. she looked 10 years older and it's uh actually uh presented presented this and i wanted to publish this uh two sisters case yeah. where just so important important to really uh pre prevent some damage prevent um other toxins um eating healthy and not smoking yes. um and that's just just this simple measure is going to make you look younger um as far as our procedures like i said we um concentrate on um improvement of your skin we have different procedures like uh, microneedling radio frequency microneedling red light um we uh work on your skin to improve the skin um together with uh great skin care such as um retinol it's only clinically proven um, um which stimulates collagen production um mm -hmm. it's really also amazing how uh some of the women who uses use re just retinol and let's say uh sun protection they preserve their skin so yeah. so much better way into after menopause yeah. um 
and it's 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 not a groundbreaking in terms of the money you just really take but it's your time and discipline how you taking care of your skin and you can look much better just from that but we yeah. if you go and seek some treatments of course it's all add up and when people ask yeah. me what do we do and I and what's better for me and I, I would say everything <laughs> <laughs> nutrition exercise sun protection great skin care and in terms of non-surgical procedures we we even call it non-surgical facelift and it's really the best when we combine all these methods, methods of collagen stimulation with different machines and lasers, um, threads, biostimulators. Now um, the research is really shifting into um, yeah. getting your own body to stimulate collagen. We have exosomes. Exosomes is um, something very new, very new. Um, we've been using a uh, power of our own blood. Probably people heard about PRP, PR, PRF, platelets rich fibrin, platelets rich plasma. Kim Kardashian made it very, um, famous by her vampire facelift. But yeah. it's pretty much the same. It's using your own blood power and own uh, growth factors to stimulate collagen production, elastin production, improving your skin. Um, she was doing microneedling actually with PRP, nothing crazy that's been done a lot. Uh, but exosomes is the next level of it. It's a, it's actually a big step up from PRP. Um, it's much, much more potent growth factors. So they they made in the lab, but they resemble our own growth factors. Well, you don't need to draw blood and do this all messy <laughs> spinning. I, I, it's much better in my opinion. And it, we do see much better results with exosomes, actually. Um, they It's a growth factor which factors which speed up healing as well. So if we do procedures like microneedling or radiofrequency microneedling or any type of resurfacing, laser resurfacing, I have actually thermodynamic uh, resurfacing of the skin. It's very safe. It's amazing procedure. And if we use exosomes right after, our own patients tells us we see such an amazing improvement and speedy recovery because those growth factors yeah. they speed up recovery of the of the skin and it's also packed with amazing antioxidants and uh, peptides which also help all together to speed up recovery after the procedure and to enhance the results right um so um the um area the um aesthetic medicine is a is a very new area of medicine it's recognized in international boards as a as a separate um actually area of medicine it's not yet here it's uh, a lot of physicians from different um, specialties come together to um, really practice aesthetic medicine, um, but it's a it's a very fascinating area because yeah. it's it's very very fast developing area. A lot of research thrown into the area because let's say um, everybody, every single person. <laughs> want to stay young yes. we want to stay viable we want to live uh not just long life long very long life i mean it's it's great but you want to be active and feel young and look young yeah. mm -hmm. also this area of medicine is very interesting because it's for everybody everybody's getting old <laughs> so, yeah, of course, there's people who kind of um, more so interested in in staying young, but um, than others as, as anything else. But um, like I said, everybody's getting old. This, there's, what is the alternative? And I can hear this phrase so many times during almost every day when people come in and and they like, oh my god 
getting old is not fun, but it, it's fun. <laughs> It, it shouldn't be like if if we really uh, uh, understand and follow um, and now we know more and more what's yeah. good for us, what's yeah. not, it's it's not, it, it, it shouldn't be so bad. Like, oh, I'm getting old. Oh, what can I do? But yeah, it's it's uh, staying um, active, eating, eating healthy food. Uh, preventing your skin from sun and not smoking it's it's a foundation of it but um, seeking advice and getting more treatment of course going to enhance the those staying younger staying healthier um, yeah. growing old process yeah I, I I agree with you totally like when I know people who like to drink a lot or they smoke you know, if you look at them and you look at their skin, they age a lot faster. They, you know, they, they look a lot older than their actual age. And I really think, you know, the smoking and the, and the, and the consistent drinking alcohol, you know, plays a part in that, you know, it, it, you know, you could have alcohol once in a while, but when people do it on a consistent basis and they're smoking every day, it really plays a role on your skin. And when you mentioned like the retinol A, I love retinol A. I notice a difference when I use it, you know, and and uh, it does play a, a big role in maintaining your skin and helping your lines. And, you know, I definitely noticed a difference with that. And collagen, I, again, like you mentioned that point, I, I think that's a, an excellent point because we do lose collagen. And I don't think a lot of people realize how important collagen is. And when I mention how much our body is made of collagen, people like don't even they, their mouth opens up like, really, you know, and uh, it's so important, you know, especially for your skin, for for lots of things is it's such an important factor. You know, what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we talked about retinol, but it's so many other uh, great, um, great research going on what ha really helps. So yeah, you have to mention vitamin C and big role of peptides and growth factors, which also put into our, the most advanced skincare, which we can use. Yeah. Uh, moisturizing is important, but, um, <clears throat> all those, uh, factors which stimulate collagen and yeah. when uh, a collagen and elastin is, is 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 great and important um so i also mentioned that um i i got into anti-aging as mm -hmm. so anti-aging and helping people to stay young not just outside but inside out yes so um things like NAD, uh, N-acetyl, the nucleotide, um, it's a molecule which uh, in each and every cells, and it um, uh, helps to produce energy, ATP, and um, actually the decrease of NAD in the body corresponds to aging, aging and mental decline. So um, by um, getting NAD, um, to your body, we help your body to stay younger, yes. to stay sharper. Um, so um, I also use NAD infusion through IV. We also do an intramuscular injections of NAD um, together with different antioxidants and um, vitamins, which helps to stay young, stay focused, stay vital. Yeah. Um, yeah. Alcohol, you mentioned alcohol. It's a very good point, which um, now research shows that um, alcohol is a toxin. And even like all those speculation about red wine, I don't know, maybe I'm going to sound... <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it does have some resveratrol, with, which is uh, antioxidants. But the alcohol itself is really toxic to your body. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I stay away. I this is me personally. I just it doesn't it doesn't help me to if I if I need if I am in the mood, I can be very. I mean, I don't need alcohol to enhance me myself. I don't know. I just 
feel sleepy from it. I just, it's just yeah, me, I, I guess. But um, now, like I said, more and more research saying that it's it's toxic to your body and it's um, it's any quantities is not great to you for your body. Right, I agree. So I would really also yeah stay away. So all those um toxins they create free radicals and free radicals like sun and smoking alcohol um it's really damaging damaging your collagen damaging your nervous system damaging cells in your body and that's why um things like nad and other uh glutathione is amazing that's also we add to our iv therapy um it helps us to cleanse our body from all those free radicals. And uh, that's what antioxidants are for. And of course, amazing food like fruits and vegetables um, help us to stay younger. So it's all, it's not, it's, it's, it's real that what, what you can, what you eat is what you consist of, right? Yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. So you... go ahead. <clears throat> Sorry, no, no. I was just going to say, how do you feel about like, um, you know, there's always controversy about eating more plant based food. And then some people say it's okay to eat meat. You should have meat in your diet. You know, when it comes to anti aging, like, you know, what's your suggestions on how people should eat? Like, what foods they should focus on? Well, um, definitely, especially when you're younger, you do need meat. It's all the B12, it's um, iron, it's uh, a huge amount of vitamin, group B. And um, so we do need meat. Um, so I'm not a vegetarian. I mm -hmm. eat meat in moderation. Um, it's very important to me to eat um, healthy meat. So yeah. all those meats with... Uh, hormones and antibiotics is not very helpful yeah. so if you eat meat i would say just eat healthy organic meat mm -hmm. and eat it in moderation i think it's much more important to have a healthy weight and exercise mm -hmm. and we still need to get all those nutrition in because if you are vegetarian so you're not getting enough b12 so you need to supplement with b12 because yeah. all the B12 comes from um, animal sources. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'm not a big meat eater, but I do eat I do eat meat in moderation. And I try to get healthy organic meat. I think I think that's great advice. And and with the inject when the inject when you do the injectables or you do the IV, um, do you is that something that you do like more than once a week or is it something that you do like how often does a person have to come in for maybe an IV or um, if they were to do you know the IV where they detoxes do detoxifies the body? So there's different protocols for mm -hmm. different conditions. Okay. You know, NAD used for, um, let's say, post-COVID COVID mental fog, and then you have to have massive doses, uh, like a few days in a row. It's even used for neurodegenerative diseases, like myasthenia gravis, multiple sclerosis. Um, I don't really focus on that. I, I'm more into healthy people, anti-aging. Mm -hmm. So... Um, and I have a few people who is coming every week for infusion. Uh, and I, NAD is a very slow infusion. We okay. can fast. So not a lot of people can find this time to sit in the office for a few hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, although we try to make experience well, very nice. Um, but um, it's still, it's time from your day. Um, yeah, people come and they, they just read books and... Um, uh, like I said, it's a different, different protocols for different conditions and what you right. really want to achieve. Just the maintenance once a week. Some people can come once in two weeks. It all depends on their schedule. But then you can get actually IM injection of NAD as well. And that's better uh, than oral still. Yeah. Because orally, unfortunately, we decrease absorption of nutrients. Nutrients. Yeah. 
as we age, our gastro uh, gastrointestinal system is not working as good. That's yeah. why parental love, meaning through IV or IM, is better. You really get in those nutrients right into your bloodstream. So yeah, depends on the condition and depends on your how much time you can afford to even just have those IV infusions done. Now you yeah. mentioned some of the things that we could do to, to prevent and you know to help us you know with aging. Um, are are there other things that we could do, other procedures or other th changes in our life that would really help us with preventing aging? Because we talked about nu nutrition, we talked about some of the services, you know. But what are some other things too that we could do that we haven't mentioned yet? Oh well, sleeping well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have re trying to reduce stress in your life because stress oh, yeah. is at uh, the cortisol level. It's it's a big downer. Yeah, you get that done right. <laughs> 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 right. Sometimes it doesn't depend on you. It's all those right. things, but still, I mean, you can you can just choose how you behave, being with friends, and rather than staying alone, going out there again i i don't want to push that so much because i i know sometimes it's just hard and this is through the different types of circumstances people experiencing yeah but, um yeah social connection shown um social connections staying close to your family to your friends definitely shown to um, help people to live happier life when you're happy um, you're healthier actually definitely there is mind-body connection out there yeah. um, big stress make you age faster and even bring up diseases and cancer yeah. and so many things so um, so yes being social trying to be Stay with your family, trying to amend and forgive. Yes. You know, it's it's very important. So thinking about your mental health, all that, all this is very important. Um, yeah, this one more thing NAD does actually, it's like a scavenger. Um, it's it helps to destroy those faulty DNA. And faulty DNA um, leads to abnormal cells, which is cancer cells. So it's NAD oh. is also anti aging, and not just anti aging, but it's anti cancer. Oh really? Um, yeah. So it's a it's amazing, amazing. I think new thing which needs more research, mm -hmm. uh, definitely. And uh, that's what a lot um, this all in industry is about. We. Um, oh exciting exciting new way to stay young and healthy yeah definitely i think you know i think you know if by incorporating a lot of the things that you mentioned today i think people could really you know help themselves from you know slowly aging so fast you know they can decrease you know the speed because not you know we live in a society where so many people are eating processed foods you know so many people are eating foods we're not supposed to be you know some people lack you know um exercise and even with exercise, you don't have to exercise like a crazy person. You can just get a little exercise each day. And I think that would be helpful for somebody just to move the blood circulation and get their body going would be, you know, really good. Um, you know, how, how, what do you feel like when it comes to exercise and how much exercise do you think a person should have in their daily diet or their daily living? Exercise is so important. Now research shows it's even prevents mental decline, not just of course, your healthy body, but it's uh, your brain functions better if you exercise. It's essential to get movement every day of your life. Yeah. Uh, it depends what can you do. I mean, you you shouldn't be pushing yourself too hard because you also can injure yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, you have to increase your exercise level slowly as tolerated, uh, maybe working with professionals, yes. um, but moving every day, exercising, 
getting some cardio, um, speeding up your heart a little bit at a time. I, I'm not saying like running marathon right away, but right. yes, any type you can move your body, um, stretch your body is so important. Um, now more research shows that weight exercise also amazing for your 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 body, like an actual actual amount of muscles when you which you have as you yeah. age corresponds with your health of overall and your mental health as well right mm -hmm. so resistance training everything is great as long as you're moving your body <laughs> right right <laughs> don't injure yourself right <laughs> yes exactly exactly everybody have their own limitations everybody have their own history and history of trauma so you have to know you know know it well and i think working with professionals mm -hmm. would be better um according to your let's say especially for people who has trauma in the past so certain things you can't do like so um but anyway moving your body is, is amazing I, I, I couldn't agree more with you. I think it's so important. Now, if we had to take today's conversation and we had to emphasize everything we talked about, what are some takeaways that you would really like people to really understand and, and maybe they could even apply to their daily lives? Well, aging is uh, how, how we grow old and it's a privilege and it should you should appreciate it and uh, take it um and be ha happy and healthy and smart about it right you can age um you can age and stay healthy and youthful um the age is just a number and it's really true right now we act, we can actually calculate and um find out what's your biological age their biological age can be different from your chronological age. Yes. And yes. Uh, so staying, like listening to the research and really discipline matters. Yeah. Discipline matters. Yes, this piece of cake might feel very nice at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but I, what I do, I, I well, I'm guilty. I mean, I, but I always try to think of it as how bad is it for you right it's bad for your body it like yeah. sweet we didn't talk about sweets it's just bad for you not just for your body but it's for your skin it's really it's it's another um like a free radical it's another toxin for you Sugar is a toxin, another toxin for your for your for your whole body and your skin. Right. So you we gotta stay disciplined. There yeah. is uh we gotta stay disciplined because I feel like everybody knows what to do. Yeah. Everybody knows, okay, smoking is bad, sun is not good for you, like um eating fruits and vegetables are good, processed food is not, but it's just like being disciplined for yourself. Yes. Like it's like selfish or but for your own good. Okay. Right. I mean you have to be disciplined and just do what you know already is good for right. you. Right. It's just to stay healthy and um as as aesthetic medicine or anti-aging uh physician and specialist, if you come to me and we can discuss it all and reinforce it all again and i can help you to stay youthful to look yeah. youthful inside and out mm -hmm. um, with the uh, help of all the contemporary medicine contemporary research and my word is like you're gonna look uh very natural because yeah. um now we kind of scared away from all those unnatural uh, results from especially celebrities who come out yeah. and freaky and people don't come to us because they're afraid that they're going to look freaky right but, um and it, it gave our specialty a bad rap actually yeah. all those 
examples of freaky, freakish looking people uh, when we see not necessarily celebrities, we see them and we recognize them right away. You don't have to be a specialist. It's just human eye trained to see all those unnatural results and yes. uh, you'll see them right away and spot them right away. Oh my God, this girl made did her lips or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> her yeah. cheeks are enormous. There's something wrong there. So my word as a specialist that I do not do that. I right. really, really hate um, those unnatural results. This is absolutely no for me. And I do um, turn away the request of like enhancing something that I will, would th feel are going to look unnatural. Yeah. And I, I think that's so important because, you know, especially like you said, you see a lot of celebrities that overdid it, you know, and they came out and a lot of them were very beautiful. They were just aging, you know, and they were, they, were, they just wanted to keep that youthful look, but they, they went overboard. And some of them, you didn't even realize at first who they were. Like you, you had to take, you know, cause some of them really went overboard to the point where you had to do a double take and say, is that really them? You know? And it like, I, I really appreciate and I, I, I highly, you know, um, admire that you, you know, you turn away people like that and, you know, because natural is the way it's supposed to be. If you're going to get any type of enhancement and any changes done to you, it should look natural where people don't even notice they, you, you look good, but they're, you know, they can't really tell if you did or didn't, you know what I mean? And that's the way it, it should be done. You know, it's, uh, you know, that that's what, you know, why it was developed to, to help and enhance, you know, your, your physical and your, your looks and, but in a natural form, not where it's, you know, people can't even raise their eyebrows or, or talk or and smile anymore, you know, cause they're, they're, they've got so many procedures done, you know, and it's, 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 you know, I admire that you turn away people, you know, and you want people to look natural because that's so important. Of course, every unnatural result I would create, this is my card. This is like what people say, oh my God, who treated this so it's really not in my interest i i completely despise all those unnatural looks it's yeah. just no no for me yeah now you have um your do you have one or two practices because you have um where are you located where can people find you right i am in brooklyn ships at bay area and i'm uh nassau long island hewlett mm -hmm. oh, okay um, Excellent. And where can people like find you on the website if they want to contact you on the website? Sure. My website is www.drolgaz.com. Easy one. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and so if people, if people wanted to make, make an appointment, can they do it through your website or should they call you? Do they have a number they can reach? Yeah, absolutely. I have uh, all the links and phone numbers on my um, website, drolgaz.com. Also, um, social media is so important right now, right? <laughs> my Instagram is really my portfolio of before and afters and all the procedures we do. So it's easy. It's, it's just my name. Dr. Olga Zilberstein. That's it. It's it's my Instagram name, and it's, uh, where you can go and you can DM, and there's all phone numbers and all the links are there as well. Excellent, excellent. Well, this has been amazing. I love talking to you. You know, you have so much great advice, and I think it's so important that people learn how to take care of themselves the right way because we could, we could, we could keep our youthfulness. You know, even though we get older, we could still make ourselves feel and look young by the way we care for ourselves and just by doing little procedures and and in doing different, you know, little things and adding them into our life, we could actually really, you know, feel and look like we're younger, you know, cause it's like, like we were saying earlier, it's just a number, you know, it's really how we look and how we feel that really matters, you know? And, uh, you know, I, I really admire everything you're doing and I think you are, you're doing a great job and, and thank you so much for coming on this show. This has been such a pleasurable experience. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me. Oh, it's you're very a pleasure talking to you. Yes. Same here. Same here. You have a great day. You too.